John Andrea Noceda is with us for Dvorak's Seventh Symphony and the Second Cello Concerto by Dmitry Shostakovich with a Heinz Hall debut of Enrico Dindo. Happy New Year, Maestro. Welcome Happy back New to Year's Pittsburgh. Year. Thank you very much. Delighted to have you. The Shostakovich Second Cello Concerto, we don't hear all that often. This will be something new, I think. Uh, is very popular, the number one, uh, the, the, the first cello concerto. I think uh, because it's more uh, showy, the, 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 let's say, the virtuoso part of the cello, the, the orchestral part is not terribly difficult, so it's easy to rehearse and present. So uh, it, it's easy for the public, public to hear the first cello concerto, but this second is more gloomy, the character is more uh, introspective, and the, the part, despite uh, what I said before, is even more difficult. The part of the cello is incredibly virtuoso and requires a very specific sound from the orchestra because you have sometimes to reproduce the sound of the bones, not the sound without skin, without muscles. It's very frightening sometimes. And the, the parts of the, the, the bassoons, the, the, the percussions part are so uh, fantastically written and the interaction between the soloist and the orchestra is more intense than in the first cello concerto and uh, I think is a is a great piece and your soloist Enrique Enrico Dindo uh, new Rostropovich the dedicatee the person who gave the first performance yeah he, he won the Rostropovich competition and uh, is uh, is an incredible artist I have to say so honest so pure uh, his fantastic hands, uh, no questions about that, uh, but also the the message he can deliver through the music. He's not uh, using uh, the music uh, to establish himself. He's very devoted to the music and uh, he's a very also close friend of mine. And we already played this concerto several times. We recorded it. We, we recorded both concertos and um, I, I'm happy because uh, he will be a nice surprise for the Pittsburgh audience. Dindo was the cellist at La Scala for the better part of 10 years, a decade. Yeah, he has been the youngest uh, uh, principal cello. He, he, he won the job, he got the job when he was, I think, 20. So very unusual in La Scala to, 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 to sit in the first, you know, chair of the cello section. Dvorak Seventh, everybody loves it. This is a beautiful symphony. Lots of wonderful tunes, the fantastic sound of Dvorak that we know and love. His incredible symphony is, uh, let's say, if I can put in these terms, is less beautiful than eight, but more dramatic than eight. So the color of the symphony, D minor, is is incredible because it's the most passionate symphony by Dvorak. Is one of his most passionate uh, pieces uh, he wrote. Is uh, is incredible. The, the, the particular orchestration in the first movement, this uh, Sturm und Drang, this stormy. Uh, development and uh, of course in the second movement this lyricism is like a lead like a lead with uh, all the different line making counterpoint uh, uh, comments to the to, to, to the melody of the of the song and the third movement is one of this uh, very famous uh, Dvorak scherzos fantastic the, the, the new world symphony one the number eight number seven number five so it is. And the finale is very, I, I have to say, probably, this is my point of view, is the most operatic movement in all the symphonic output uh, by Dvorak. He, he, it has very operatic elements. So the beginning, it looks really like a a hero baritone just coming on stage after that starts this and there is also this is a sort of dialogue like a duet is incredibly well written <laughs> 